Greetings! As part of the new normal in education, the Aero Team and Kupang Senior High School proudly presents series of learning videos on Practical Research 2. Today, we will be dealing with the characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses of quantitative research. Join us as we unravel its wonders. Be equipped with knowledge and skills to be an agent of sustainable development. What is research? The prefix re and the word search means to search again. As science play a vital role in searching for the truth, research make it possible. The continuous search for the truth lies in our hands. By involving yourself in research can make a significant development not only in our community but also in our country. By definition, Research is the process of obtaining information to seek solutions to problems. Expressions like numerical forms, objective thinking, statistical method, and measurement signal the existence of quantitative research. One word that reflects the true nature of this type of research is numerical. Quantitative research is a way of making any phenomenon or any sensory experience clearer or more meaningful by gathering and examining facts and information about such a person, thing, place, event appealing to your senses. Involving measurements and amounts, quantitative research seeks to find answers to questions starting with how many, how much, how long, to what extent and the like. It aims to establish facts, predict, and examines data and hypothesis. It highlights numerical analysis of data, hoping that the numbers yield unbiased results that can be generalized to some larger population and explain a particular observation. For example, the daily COVID-19 update by the city government of Montenlupa requires knowledge and skills of quantitative research. Here are the characteristics of quantitative research. Quantitative research is objective as it seeks accurate measurement and analysis of target concepts. It is not based on mere intuitions and guesses. Data are gathered before proposing a conclusion or solution to a problem. For instance, many Filipinos were shocked because of the news about the sudden decline of active COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. To better understand the reason behind this data, one must be knowledgeable on searching facts. Data in quantitative research are in form of numbers and statistics, often organized and presented using tables, charts, graphs, and figures that consolidate large numbers of data to show trends, relationship, or differences among variables. The daily update of COVID-19 tally of the Philippine cases by the Department of Health uses such method in presenting data. Data are normally gathered using structured research tools such as questionnaires to collect measurable characteristics of the population like age, socioeconomic status, number of children among others. For example, in enrolling yourself in Kupang Senior High School, you have answered the Kupang Senior High School online learner enrollment and survey form. Here, every enrollee answered the same questionnaire. In quantitative research, the researchers know in advance what they are looking for. The research questions are well defined for which objective answers are sought. All aspects of the study are carefully designed before data are gathered. For example, to determine the learning modality preferred by the students, the Department of Education conducted a survey about it. To arrive at a more reliable data analysis, a normal population distribution curve is preferred. This requires a large sample size depending on how the characteristics of the population vary. 
random sampling is recommended in determining the sample size to avoid researchers' bias in interpreting the results. This is also one of the reasons why vaccine testing for COVID-19 really takes time to be accomplished. Reliable quantitative studies can be repeated to verify or confirm the correctness of the result in another setting. This strengthens the validity of the findings, thus eliminating the possibility of spurious conclusions. For instance, students who are joining science investigatory projects are fond of reading research papers first in order for them to be inspired and replicate some of the techniques done by other researchers. Lastly, by using complex mathematical calculations and with the aid of computers, if then scenarios may be formulated, thus predicting future results. For example, after knowing the efficiency of solar energy in a community, maybe it's about time to embrace a just energy transition in the whole country. After knowing the characteristics of quantitative research, we shall now proceed in determining its strengths and weaknesses. Quantitative research allows for a broader study involving a greater number of subjects and enhancing the generalization of the results. It allows for greater objectivity and accuracy of results. Generally, quantitative methods are designed to provide summaries of data that support generalizations about the phenomenon under study. In order to accomplish this, quantitative research usually involves few variables and many cases, and employs prescribed procedures to ensure validity and reliability. Applying well-established standards means that the research can be replicated, and then analyzed and compared with similar studies. Systematic and easy data analysis is done for better interpretation of data. Also, the presence of hypothesis enables the researcher to test his or her assumptions. Above all, quantitative research isn't biased, making more valid and reliable results. On the other hand, Quantitative research uses a fixed and inflexible approach and so employs a rigid process of discovery. The research is frequently done in a natural, artificial environment so that a level of control can be applied to the study. This level of control might not normally be in place in the real world, thus yielding laboratory results as opposed to the real-world results. It is costly since there are more respondents compared to qualitative research. The expenses will be greater in reaching out to these people and in reproducing the questionnaires. If not done seriously and correctly, data from questionnaires may be incomplete and inaccurate. Researchers must be on the lookout on the respondents who are just guessing in answering the instruments. Quantitative research at times may have data homogeneity issues. Also, researchers in expertise may negatively affect analysis and interpretation of data. Research is a broad field encompassing disciplines with countless responsibilities in numerous industries. Consumer products industry market researchers do things like conducting focus group and applying statistical analysis techniques to demographic data to better understanding consumer behavior. Pharmaceuticals researchers, who are usually chemists, research the properties of new chemical combinations. Financial analysts research companies, industries, and markets with a goal of helping their employees and their clients make good securities investments do quantitative research also. Psychology researchers conduct studies of depression in young children or elderly women through quantitative research. Teachers use research in order to determine the effectiveness of learning materials to the students. 
Aspiring researchers may use the research knowledge and skills in providing sustainable solutions that will enable us to meet the sustainable development goals set by the United Nations. Truly, research makes a great impact in our lives. It helps us to make this world the best place to live in. At Kupang Senior High School, we encourage every teacher and student to engage themselves in research. This will surely open doors of knowledge and opportunities. As we move beyond the best, our community will perpetually follow.